the young people of China are the country's most valuable natural resource. And it is a most important element in education to develop youth's responsibility toward society. In kindergartens, the children present patriotic songs and plays. They sing the praises of the nation's symbol, Chairman Mao. From very early age, the children are encouraged to participate in useful work at least half an hour every day by making small cardboard boxes or paper bags from old newspapers. Throughout their childhood, the children are always in groups. It gives them a sense of belonging. Practically every subject in school has some political content. They have many songs about China's revolution and about Chairman Mao. Since the Cultural Revolution, education has been reorganized. Political instruction and practical experience have preference over theoretical study. In French class, they learn about the French Revolution. Before the present regime in China, illiteracy was 80%. It is now reduced to 10%. Today, most schools have workshops. Here the students are putting together parts for transistor radios. They work with a local radio factory and contribute to the production. They spend half of their time in the school workshops. The secondary school students are expected to earn their keep by doing useful, productive work. Another school workshop makes chairs and desks to be sent to schools in the rural areas. They make 1,800 chairs a month in this workshop. The children get some instruction to begin with but otherwise they have to organize the production themselves. Later, they will spend some weeks working in a factory, so the transfer from education and training to active participation in production is gradual. The students are taught not only by professional teachers, but also by local people with practical experience. Physical training and sports activity play an important role in school. Playing, dancing, and singing are popular among the young people. 
Here, a college orchestra is playing to accompany a group of girl students. An army officer is often in charge of sports activity at the big sports centers, where children and young people can get special instruction. Sports facilities are commonplace throughout the country. Factories, schools, and communes all have their training grounds. In China, there is no betting on sports activities. Gambling is frowned upon. Other popular sports are table tennis, badminton, basketball, running, jumping, and group gymnastics. Ice skating is a popular sport in the northern areas, where they have cold winters. The skaters and hockey players are trained here during the summer months. For this purpose, the Chinese use special roller skates. The army is represented in the management of this sports center. Here, physical instructors are trained. China competes in many international sports events throughout Asia and Europe. All students in China must spend a year or two working in a commune in rural areas or in a factory before they complete their studies. We will follow them out into the country. Also, children from secondary and primary schools work for short periods in rural areas, especially during harvest. Even small children from kindergarten and first grade do their share. They are called little red soldiers, and they give a hand in collecting leftover straws. The red emblem shows she is an organized member of the Little Red Soldiers. The children often help to clean up streets and parks in the cities.
All over China, you will see youngsters moving or working in groups. The girls working here all come from schools in Peking to help the peasants at harvest time. And this is what education in China is aiming at, that people work together to get the best results for everyone. The key word is serve the people.